Hello everyone and welcome back to the shop. I hope everyone had a great Christmas and a happy new year. I wanted to do a quick update video for you guys on a video that I did a couple of months ago on the PB8010 and 9010 backpack blowers. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it up above here so you can check it out. One of the common problems that I ran into with these blowers was this intake boot and how it seals and how it can allow dirt to get inside the intake itself. Now, yesterday I had this blower on my bench and I was doing a full tune-up on it and I happened to notice something quite interesting. So anytime I do a service on one of these backpack blowers, I do remove this boot every single time because I like to inspect the inside of it for dirt. Now, one of the things with these things is they do allow quite a bit of dirt. Even though these hose clamps may be tight, they will allow a certain amount of dirt to get inside and it can cause problems. Some people will put a little bit of silicone around this to seal it or some grease or something like that. And that usually does help but it is something that has been a problem, especially with the 8010 models. Now, yesterday, when I went to remove this boot, I had a heck of a time getting this thing off. I was trying to pull on it, and I didn't know just because if it was cold or what happened. And this is a fairly new unit. This unit is only a couple of months old. So this is what I found. So I've got these hose clamps loose, and I've got you guys brought in pretty tight here, and I'll try to pull this thing off. But these things do require a lot more force to get off. Now. If you notice here, you have these ridges on this intake here, and you have ridges on the air box itself up here. Now with the 8010 models, and some of the early 9010 models, there's no ridges on this air box. And on the intake itself, this is an 8010 model here, it does have ridges on it, but these ridges are definitely not as tall or pronounced as this new one here. So it does appear as though Echo updated this, made these ridges much taller. So then when you tighten down on this hose clamp, you get a much better bite on this intake boot. And you can, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but there's ridges in here, or these grooves, as it's clamped down, it seats on there nice and tight. And as you can see on this intake, it's nice and clean inside. And I am not seeing the dirt ingestion problem that I was seeing previously with the 8010 models as you can see with this one here. So it's nice to see manufacturers are actually addressing problems as they arise. And this is definitely one thing that I was worried about with this blower, especially the 8010 model when they first came out, because we were seeing a lot of dirt ingestion problems, but this should take care of that. If you're looking to purchase one of these blowers, I highly recommend them. They are a great blower and they have been holding up quite well for us here lately. Now, they have addressed a lot of the little issues that the 8010 had with the new 9010 model. These blowers are very powerful and they move a lot of air, and they are fairly lightweight for their size. While it may not be 100% perfect yet, it is very close, so it is nice to see that they are making updates and changes. So there's a quick update on the changes that I found with the new PB9010. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment down below. Or if you want to send me an email, you can find my email in the community tab. I appreciate you watching. Thanks for your time. I'll see you on the next one.